appropriating white culture, Judd Apatow, I'm coming for you. I'm appropriating that white, that white, that so that title associated with this white product. You know, because people take from us all the time, so why not borrow from him? You know, but it's, it was always, it was called Rodimus Prime, the 40-year-old version, a mixtape. It was a live show, and, and it actually didn't even start as a live show. It was a web series, you know, because I had gotten, <clears throat> as a, 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 a screenwriter, I got fired off my first screenwriting job. And then I was trying to create uh, a web series for a rapper <coughs> um, that, that didn't quite work out. Um, but <laughs> uh, 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 that, you know what? Now, we'll, we'll put those in the tales of the crib uh, of stories. But yes, and... You know, so at the time, I was just feeling like I want to tell a story and I don't want to wait on someone's approval to do so. So I decided I was actually um, helping a friend put an audition on tape at Apparel Oduye. And, and the, the iPhone was on a tiny little tripod and I'm doing lines while directing her in the scene. And I was like, oh, my God, it, it really is this simple in terms of making story. And so in the more in the minute in, in that moment. I was like, I'm going to do my own shit. You know, I'm going to do a web series and I'm going to make it about a woman, blah, 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 blah. I wasn't even in it at that point. But then I decided, well, fuck it. You know, I'm going to play a playwright who becomes a rapper. And I wrote 10 episodes. Um, Sean Peters was the DP at the time. And we were going to shoot the first two episodes as uh, that was supposed to, on, on GarageBand. I was just writing rhymes and creating music as it related to the narrative. And the idea was like, you get to the 10th episode and you get to download this mixtape that was really a companion piece to the series. And so myself, Sean, I think I was working with Nikisa and another producer at the time, we were gearing up to shoot the two, uh, the first two episodes. And about two weeks before that happened, my mother passed away. And anybody who knows me, like, my mother is my heartbeat. We got the same birthday. She's the person who turned turn me on to film. Um, and so I was devastated, um, especially as an artist, because my biggest champion, the person who planted the, the seed of story in me, was no longer here to cheer me on. So initially I was like, okay, you know, F being an artist, I'm going to go back to school and be a social worker. But I probably saved more children by not becoming a social worker. And then... Um, and I just started performing as Rodimus Prime, really as a catharsis, you know, to get through losing my mother. Um, I started performing, you know, smaller venues like pianos and um, um, what's the space in Brooklyn? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm forgetting everything. But, you know, smaller venues until I eventually started performing at Joe's Pub. You know, and I was kind of like a regular. I did the Black, uh, Black History Month, M-O-M-F show. Um, I did a couple of shows a year there. And... Um, then when I came back and looked at the web series, um, it was maybe two years later, it felt a little pedestrian, or rather it felt more like it was a millennium, you know, online web series felt more like the millennials, you know, that's their thing. And so I thought, well, how could I still take ownership of the story and present it? I wrote it as a 30 minute pilot, you know, because at that time I'd started working on these shows um, me as the star of their, you know, 30 minute, you know, Larry Davis, not Larry Davis, Larry David, Larry Davis, that's a whole nother. <laughs> um, who's going to put me in that? Who's going to get behind that? And so I then started, okay, how can I still make it my own? And then it was like, it's a feature and it's uh, on 35 millimeter black and white film. And when I tell you, you know, everyone looked at me like I had no head. You know, like, why would you shoot a film on film and 35 millimeter and black and white and put yourself in the second? Why would you do that? And um, I couldn't think of a reason not to. <laughs> you know, like, it just made sense to me. I, again, I was raised by a cinephile. I was raised on black and white films from the apartment to Night of the Hunter, you know, um, to She's Gotta Have It, like. It was very natural for me to see narrative in that. And so I was just like, that's it. I'm going to do.